I'm Dwight with uh, Villages Golf Cars. Um, today we're going to go through the uh, Easy Go Elite Lithium Golf Car. Alright, so one of the things we have here is uh, with the unique personalized key. Uh, right now it's in the off position. Uh, when you go to the next cycle, it goes to reverse. You'll hear the reverse kick on. Then we also have neutral in the on position and of course our forward position. When we do turn the keys on, you will notice that the uh, safety lights will automatically turn on and they also will cycle with your turn signals as well. So to reset your turn signal, just lift it back up and we're back up in the up position. One of the things too is with the safety lights, to operate the safety lights on this easy go, we're going to pull out this uh, hazard lights portion right here and then to reset it, we just flick down the turn signal and it uh, resets it as well. Here we've got our battery gauge. As you can see, we're a little low on this uh, uh, this battery gauge right now. We'll need to charge it up. But we also have the operation for our lights. You can flick on the lights here and it turns on our headlights. And locating your serial number on your EasyGo Elite, you'll notice it'll be right here on the steering column, as well as underneath the driver's side wheel well. So we're going to go over the uh, three screens for the speedometer. First screen, we have our miles an hour. We also have the time, our distance, as, rel as well as the route time. You won't see any temperature in the first screen. And of course, the voltage shows high on the lithium carts. If we press the middle button, the mode button, we'll see now that our air temperature outside reflects on the, on the screen. Everything else stays the same. On the third screen, after pressing the mode again, now we'll see our odometer reading as well as our accumulated ride time. No temperature gauge there, and of course, once again, we show high voltage uh, because it is a lithium cart. To get back to the first screen, all we do is press mode again, and it gets us back to our first screen that we're in. So we're gonna go over how to change the time on your speedometer. What we wanna do is hold all three buttons down simultaneously. You'll see the screen go flash. And then once we need to get to get to the time, we'll press the center mode button until we get to the screen here. To adjust the uh, time, we can press our left down arrow, we'll change the hours. And then to get to the minutes, we can press the right or up one to change it to its position as well. Once we're done, press mode, until we want to get ourselves back to the first screen. We're going to charge the uh, EasyGo Lithium Elite cart. Uh, this is the charger for the car here. So first we want to plug it into the wall. And then we're going to take the charging in for the cart and plug it in the cart here. So as, as we charge up here, we'll see that we have an indication light that it's accepting the charge, uh, as well as the level of which it charges at. And then on the side of the cart, uh, by the uh, plug-in for the charger, we'll see a green light uh, letting us know it is accepting as well. So now we're going to go over the uh, run storage tow switch on the EasyGo uh, Elite. Here you'll see that currently it's in the run storage. To flip it to tow, we just flip over to tow, turn the key to neutral, and that'll allow us to freely move the vehicle wherever we need to. I want to go over uh, properly rolling up the sides. There's a couple different ways you can do these. This is one of the ways I'll show you now. Um, go ahead and zip up the door here, and then we'll go ahead and zip up the front zipper. When we zip up the front zipper, what we want to make sure we do is we don't want to zip it any further than, say, here, just so it doesn't come off track. Um, we got the buttons we're going to take off down here. And then we'll see we've got kind of folds going already into it. And we'll just take these folds, bring them over, bring the next one over, and then we can fold it one more time here. This will allow us to roll it up. And the biggest thing is just to get a nice tight roll as we roll them up into that location. Then we can snap on our snaps there. Back to the back panel here, kind of the same thing. We want to make sure we don't zip it all the way up. We we'll just zip it to a location here, take the buttons off. It's a little bit different. You'll see the fold goes to the back and then we flip it to the front. As we take this down, we'll do the same thing. Just nice tight rolls. You get up in the location and then put our snaps in. 
this is our club protector here. Uh, to use a club protector, just take it down, drop down the location here, put it back up, just basically take it over and put your buttons in place and snap it in. During some cold weather, you may want to use the flat back here, dropping this down. Uh, to take it and roll it back up, same thing. Take the snap here. And then pull it out. Fold it in place. And then just kind of get it into a nice tight roll. Roll up here, make sure we don't get the snaps and the wraps in place. And then we can snap it in place. And we're set. The warranty on an easy go golf cart consists of one year bumper to bumper warranty provided by the Village's Golf Cars. I also have a three year powertrain warranty provided through EasyGo and an eight year unlimited amp hour battery warranty. The factory EasyGo warranty is only extended to the original owner and is non transferable. Warranties supplied by the Village's Golf Cars are not transferable as well. There is a five year warranty on the Sumbrella material for loss of color or strength for normal use and exposure condition. Golf cars purchased directly from the Village's Golf Cars are eligible to have service appointments scheduled. Also, you receive a complimentary service loaner when your car is in any of our service garages. Appointments do fill up fast. Try scheduling at least six weeks in advance. Appointment times are estimated and we do not guarantee work will begin at the exact appointment time. The Village's Golf Cars is pleased to offer a one-year transportation membership on all golf car purchases. This is through American Golf Cart Association, also known as AGA, and includes four toes within the villages. We are actively on social media, and we would like to stay in touch and loop with everything that's coming new to us. We are on Facebook, YouTube, as well as Instagram. We also have a website at www.thevillagesgolfcars.com. At the Villages Golf Cars, we do have a referral program. You will get a $100 gift certificate from anyone you send to us that makes a purchase on a golf cart. We also ask that you leave a review. We appreciate you purchasing from the Villages Golf Cars, and we hope you have a wonderful experience and leave our showroom confident in how to care and operate for your golf cart.